It's anti-labor progress. Let the president do his own, uh, own part. Pass it to the National Assembly. And National Assembly, because they are trying to redeem their image, they are on standby to pass it into law. So if it is only the state government that's going to be an hindrance for the passage of, for the payment of this money, then the president should leave up with those governors. We know how to deal with the governor when it comes to this kind of struggle. I think my work... Uh uh, organized labor has been magnanimous enough to come down to that level. Even workers are not even happy for, with the 30,000 naira because the 30,000 naira cannot even carry anybody to anywhere. But to start, to start with something, that's why we agree on that 30,000. And even up to now, federal government refused to implement it or even sign the, the agreement. The agreement reached by the committee set up by themselves, so they refused to sign it. Even the people, the, the private sector uh, people, they've agreed. Even they are paying more. It's only the government that refused to, 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 to agree with that 30,000 naira. Our agitation this time around is for the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, to sign the tripartite committee agreement and send it to the uh, House, to the, uh, House of the National Assembly for implementation, for ratification, for it to be included in the uh, Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Because you know wages is in the exclusive list, not concurrent list. So it must be signed and approved by the uh, legislation. We are protesting. And each time, you know, our appeal the federal government is to see reasons and to see that Nigerians are suffering, workers are suffering. And they are saying economy is not good. Our economy, economy will not be good when the purchasing power is very low. It is we here, we workers that you see here, it is we who go to the market to buy, uh, to buy made in Nigeria clothes. So none of these people you can see that we wear made in Nigeria clothes. It is we workers. And if we don't buy, the economy will never improve. If we have tried all possible means, if we have used, if we have used all methods to make the federal government serious, well, the last option for our labor is to go on strike. If Nigerians are not coward, we've seen it in so many places, whereby uh, those countries that actually meant what, um, what actually meant to build a nation, and uh, they know what is right and they know the way to, to do it right. Uh, we all know what it entails when people are ready and very meaningful to, to, to take over government if they are not doing what is right. It's because our people, there is poverty in their psyche, the followers are having poverty in their psyche, the leaders are also having poverty in their psyche. Where are they leading us to? We, all what we are expecting is for people that, have, that know what it takes to build a nation to emerge with his grace. The strike will commence as when it's been uh, passed by the national president for everybody to proceed on a, um, a nationwide strike. And that's what we are expecting for the night. All what we are doing now is sensitization and mobilization of people to understand what they are, uh, we are actually agitating for. And that's what we are meant for. We have a governor who between 79 and 83 lived in his own house, driving his, his car, and he was not under any barricade. And I'm repeating it for the second time. That it is irresponsible of any office order to barricade the people when they have legitimate expression to make. So the point, the point when the special advisor to the governor came here was to tell him, this is the second time 
I will be here. Yes. And we insisted we cannot be behind the barricade. Yes. The second one, because our mission of coming here is to make a presentation to the governor. But when we got here now, another issue arose. And it's more serious. Because he said that he's disappointed, at least in my person, but which is by extension us. Because he has a place to go. But because of his respect for us, he decided that he should meet us. Why the governor now left without entourage? Okay, now. Okay. So if you are leaving, if you are leaving, then we need somebody who now have come for us. And that's the point. Because it's not a personal thing. Protest is not perfect. It's on the issue of, uh, of the contemporary issue, which is the 3,000 minimum wage. What we are protesting for is that we, the beggars, from 65,000 to agree to 30,000, we now agree for them now to submit it so that transmit it to National Assembly to legislate upon. The government is still delivering. We heard that some state governors said that they are not, they cannot afford the payments of that 30,000. With all due respect, it's a sharing responsibility. Our politicians should reduce their flagrant disobedience Who is holding the mic, to the welfare of their workers. Labor creates wealth. We create the wealth. They should not kill the goods that lay the golden egg. Having said that, if they want a budget for themselves, you will see who jog budgets on their side. If Look at 1.7 billion feeding allowance. They are rock. Are they feeding the whole Nigeria? They have to give our average Nigerian workers 30,000 naira. They are complaining. Ordinarily, pre 2005, 2011, minimum wage. The labor and government had an agreement that every five, five years, the salary will be reviewed. 2011 to, to, to date is about eight years. They are still in those areas of about four years. So they should turn their destiny to vocation, not career. They have turned the issue of uh, politics into a career, which is not a profession. We have been to other countries of the world. We have seen the way they run governance. But the way our people run their own in this country, it is absurd and it's uncalled for. They did not parry their needs. They waste fund, honesty fund, taxpayers' money on, 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 on necessary things. And we came here because uh, the, the leadership of the NLC is based here in Lagos. So we came here to show our grievances to the state government. And we brought a letter from the national leader to the state governor. But on getting here, we discovered that the state governor, Governor Ambode, left behind, um, you know, through another door, to go attend a rally for Baba Jai Sanwolu. The same Sanwolu whom he said a few months ago that he has mental issues, that, you know, through a national um, conference, Seeing that if you go to Bagada Hospital, you get the evidence. But now we, we now see that even Governor Ambode, even you know, he, he sees um, is a person who has mental issues more as more important than the Nigerian workers. For you to leave Nigerian workers here and go attend to someone whom you are saying has mental issues, that means you have turned this um, you know the state to a property of the APC. When we got here, we met APC members here inside, and we were not allowed, we were barricaded at the gate there, we were not allowed. When we protested, we were allowed to come in, we were still barricaded here. So the truth is that unless the government increased this minimum wage, which is even a, a you know a slave wage, because 30,000 Naira is not enough to feed a family in Nigeria for a month. So this is a slave wage, and even if it is, this is what we even agreed on, until they increase this wage, they will never know peace. So, um, you know, we heard that the federal government said only nine states is ready to, you know, to sign the minimum wage, you know, some other states are not ready to sign it. 
just because but they said they don't have money. These people don't have money to pay the workers, but they have money to pay and the honorable in the House of Assembly, the state governor, the deputy governor, the senators who collect 14, you know, 14 million monthly as, um, as their allowances, and they collect 200 million because every three months for constituency allowances. This is an insult election. to the Nigerian workers, and we are saying no to it them. until the government is ready to be it. a government of the people, who is ready to do the right of the people and do what the people want. We will vote these people out come February 2019. As we are gathered here, like I said earlier on, we have just a message. One is to hand over this letter to His Excellency, Governor Ambody, and two, to, to also charge him that as far as the issue of minimum wage is concerned in Nigeria, organized labor has resolved. Why we are pleading with him to talk to his people, to his colleagues, governors, need for them to see reasons why 30,000 Arab minimum wage must be paid. Let us come to think of it, comrades. As of today in Nigeria, a family of six, 30,000 Naira in a month. That is less than 1,000 Naira daily. How do we sustain ourselves with 600 Naira, father, mother, and four children? When the issue of minimum wage comes up, the idea of ability to pay now comes in. Minimum Wage Act is in the exclusive list of the federal government. Yes. On this note, yes. the essay, like you have made us to understand that you have the mandate to collect this letter from organized labor, which will be forwarded to His Excellency, and the necessary action will be taken over it. They were here to send His Excellency a message to other governor. That is what I heard from the Labour Chairman leader. They said they want to send a message. So now, the letter they are sending to His Excellency, the letter they want to send to, to send to His Excellency, I will take it on behalf of His Excellency, notwithstanding. But their reaction, as far as I'm concerned, is not the right way for a peaceful demonstration. Usually, the governor I know, if there is a letter like that, that they should go, that they want him to assist them, he normally asks me or by himself direct the letter to where it's supposed to go. There's a letter that sent to, his, uh, to, 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 to the president of the nation. The letter was given to the president by his, his excellency. But the one thing I want you people to understand, it is right for the labor in Lagos State to send their own governor to anywhere. They have the right to do that. And that is why they were here. But I believe some people have hijacked the program on the, on the program. But now, now as it is now, as it is now, this is governor who have been paying the salary of workers on the 22nd of every month. And in the whole legal, in the whole of federation, this is the governor who is in support that no amount of money that the labor wants, he is ready to pay. The labor says government is ready to pay any amount other governors and the federal government is ready to pay. So on behalf of His Excellency, I will take it from them, but the impression they were creating is a very wrong and a bad impression. I cannot register my own idea also.